Xiaomi has just launched an absolute killer smartphone of the 2023, Xiaomi 13T. The smartphone is powerful enough to outclass flagships from competitors such as Google, Realme, Samsung, and Apple. It's like the father of all these smartphones at this price point, encompassing everything from one of the fastest chipset to out of this world cameras. From one of the best looking designs, a larger battery with fast charging solution, from one of the best and fastest UI to an IP68 water and dust resistance. That's why I'm telling you this smartphone has it all. And it's better than every other smartphone at this price point at this time, especially the cameras. So please watch till the end as I will delve into the camera session in great details. And I will also tell you at the end that whether you should consider the smartphone at this price point or not. So let's see how the smartphone is better from the competitors in this full comprehensive review. So the Xiaomi 13D has a top-notch 6.67 inches AMOLED Full HD Plus display with 144Hz refresh rate and a 480Hz of touch sampling rate. The display is 12-bit providing up to 68 billion colors. Damn! And the HD R10 Plus support, especially the Dolby Vision, enhances contrast and color accuracy. And the 446 ppi density ensures sharp images. The screen is ultra smooth with 144Hz refresh rate and adaptive technology for seamless transitions. The display is also super bright as it can reach the brightness levels of 1600 nits and an impressive 2600 nits in HDR. Wow, making the display visible in various lighting conditions. The display is also protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and the 87.5 screen to body ratio gives you a generous display area. Additional features include full DCI-P3 color support and a 2880Hz PW dimming for eye comfort. Watching HDR10 Plus videos on this smartphone is awesome as it supports HDR10 Plus in YouTube and Netflix. The display is also wide on L1 certified, which means you can stream full HD Plus content on popular platforms like Netflix. And Amazon Prime. The AMOLED technology really works well, as you will see vivid colors, a little bit of high saturation, and good contrast ratio, all working together to improve visual performance of the Xiaomi 13T. The Xiaomi 13T has in display fingerprint scanner that is not only faster but also boosts in impressive animations when unlocking the phone. Xiaomi has incorporated full animations in Puma UI 14. And I will delve into that in a minute. The smartphone also supports dual stereo speakers that supports Dolby Atmos audio technology. The sound emanating from the smartphone is truly impressive. The bass, the loudness and the cables are amazing. And there is no 3.5mm headphone jack. The Xiaomi 13 is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultra chipset, which delivers impressive performance in all kinds of tasks. The Xiaomi 13 is equipped with either 8GB or 12GB of quad channel LPDDR5 frame with a memory frequency of 3200 MHz. And in terms of storage, the Xiaomi 13 offers 256GB of storage that is based on UPS 3.1 for faster read and write speeds. The Xiaomi 13 performs really well in benchmarks. In Geekbench 6, it scored 1243 in single core performance and 3800 25 for multi-core performance, which shows it can handle different tasks very smoothly. And in Intuito version 10 benchmarks, it scores a total point of 872,840, which is a lot faster than the previous model, the Xiaomi 12T. Talking about the temperature, this smartphone stays cool thanks to the multi-layer graphite sheets. In terms of gaming performance, the gaming performance of the smartphone is also on another level thanks to the Dimensity 8200 Ultra chipset with 12GB of RAM. Every game runs at ultra high settings with maximum frame rates like PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, S49 and more. And the Call of Duty Mobile game also runs very smoothly. And the S49 also runs at maximum graphic settings with maximum frame rates. And the Genshin Impact game also runs fluidly and smoothly thanks to the 144Hz refresh rate and the super fast chipset. So it's an excellent choice for gaming at this price point. But it handles every game smoothly. The Xiaomi 13T runs on MIUI 14 based on the latest Android 13 operating system. The MIUI 14 offers a customized user interface for unique experience. And this time in the 13T series, the MIUI is much improved, making it fluid, responsive and fast. While there is some blotter in the UI, but don't worry they can be uninstalled pretty easily. Moreover, the smartphone is future-proof too. And we will see this in the first time in the Xiaomi 13T series, as it will receive 4 years of OS massive upgrades and 5 years of security patches updates. In terms of battery, the Xiaomi 13T is powered by the 5000mAh battery with 67W of fast charging solution, which can fully charge the battery in around 43 minutes. 
which is impressive and the battery life itself is amazing as a full charge will last you for a whole day and beyond with moderate usage this give you a total screen on time of 6 to 7 hours which is amazing the Xiaomi 13 T's main attraction is its cameras. It's a big deal because Likia helped design the lenses for the first time in the Xiaomi's T flagship smartphones. Xiaomi and Likia worked together on the rear camera system, showing how well they can collaborate. This time, the cameras of the Xiaomi 13 T will really take the advantage of the ISP of the MediaTek Dimensity 8200 Ultra. Each camera on the back can do more cool stuff than the previous model. Now let's talk about the rear cameras in details. The primary camera utilizes a powerful 50 megapixel Sony IMX 707 0.78 inch size sensor, which is coupled with a 24 mm lens with an aperture of f1.9. The sensor has a pixel size of 1.22 micron and has an optical image stabilizer for sharp and steady shots. The sensor big size really helps in low light and when you take the smartphone close to the subjects, it has a natural blur at the background. That is because of the sensor size and an f1.9 aperture really helps it more. So let's see some images of this primary camera. The telephoto camera utilizes 50 megapixel Omnivision OV 50D40 sensor, which is coupled with a 50 mm lens with an aperture of f1.9. This wider aperture is the main reason of the best looking portraits in both daylight and low light. And this sensor has a pixel size of 0.61 microns. So let's see some images of this telephoto camera. Ultra wide camera utilizes 12 megapixel sensor, which is coupled with a 16 mm lens with an aperture of f2.2. This lens expands the field of view, making it ideal for capturing wide landscapes or group shots. So, let's see some images of this ultra wide camera.
In terms of video recording capabilities, the Xiaomi 13D can record 4K at 30 frames per second, 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second, and if you want to record slow motion, then you can do that with 720p at 960 frames per second. And because of the massive sensor size, the video quality turns out great in both daylight and low light. The Xiaomi 13D is equipped with a 20 megapixel front facing camera. This selfie camera is coupled with a 26 mm lens with an aperture of f2.2 and has a pixel size of 0.8 microns. And you can record selfie videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second which is a bit confusing because at this price point, many smartphones can record 4K videos from a selfie camera. In terms of connectivity, the smartphone is equipped with Wi-Fi 6, 5G and a Bluetooth 5.4 and the smartphone also has an NFC and infrared support. In terms of colors, this smartphone comes in three color options. Many are green, black and alpine blue featuring a sophisticated square camera layout. The black variant showcases its elegance through a sleek glass panel while the blue variant captivates with a stunning vegan leather design. And as you know, my favorite color is black one. I was really excited to review this smartphone because I had been eagerly waiting for it due to its price. It's a really good option at $680. I mean, at this price point, you get everything you want. A flagship chipset, a professional camera setup, and an outstanding battery with one of the fastest charging solutions. This smartphone truly offers the features we expect from the flagship smartphones. If you ask me whether you should buy this smartphone or consider other like the Samsung Galaxy A54, Google Pixel 7, Realme GT Neo 5, Oppo Note 10 Pro Plus 5G, or the Nothing Phone 2, then I would say it's your own personal preference because all of the smartphones I mentioned are good in this price point. So if you prioritize simplicity, then go with the Google Pixel 8. You have to wait for a bit because it's not been launched yet. If you love designs a lot, then go with the Nothing Phone 2. If you prefer fast charging solution, then go with the Realme GT Neo 5 as it supports 150 watt of fast charging. If you like curved display with one of the best looking designs, then go for the Oppo Reno 10 Pro Plus 5G. And if you want all of these features in one smartphone, you should really consider the Xiaomi 13T because the smartphone has it all. And yeah, I have reviewed all of this smartphone I have mentioned. So guys, if you want to check that out, I will provide links in the description or you can press the IL button to reveal the links. We can keep talking about this smartphone for another half hour but that will be too long so let's end this review here to stay updated please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to catch me in the next video jokes aside to see some more awesome reviews like these and if you have some questions about the smartphone in your mind please do comment down below and if you watch this video until now please leave a like if you want to watch the full review of the oppo Note 10 pro plus 5g then that video is right here and if you want to watch the full review of the nothing phone 2 then that video is right here thank you for watching